Okay, this was a hell of a bite, man. This might have been divided a decade. That might be being a prisoner of the moment. But, I mean, just a back and forth. You know, Deontay Wilder and him is a top heavyweight in the sport. Hell, even a top boxer in the sport. But, clearly, Tyson Fury, even before they even went into their first fight, everybody knew he was clearly the better boxer. But, I mean, you always got to punch your chance because it is boxing. That's all you can do. Wilder's clearly, the, like, the better power puncher. It's all about the matchup. You know, speed versus power. Precision versus power. Seeing who was going to be able to close the distance. Who was going to close the distance better. Would end up winning. I mean. But, yes, yeah, definitely adds to both of their legacies. Even though it may also take away from Wilder's legacy at the same time. I mean, he's clearly one of the best. I'm not that deep in the box, and so I can't go crazy with it. Because I would get destroyed by a person that knows it like that. Because I played a couple of fight night games in the past. And I've watched all three of these fights. But like I'm trying to say, I'm not a boxing hardcore. But yeah. Tyson Fury is definitely the real deal, undefeated, had that one draw against Deontay Wilder, actually outstruck him in every round, jabs, power punches, everything, um, that's when Tyson Fury got knocked down twice in the fourth round, and I think he came back and knocked out Wilder in the fourth round as well, or not, didn't knock out, but knocked down. And a bunch of slugfish. I think Fury and Wilder traded back and forth with a couple rounds. But then ultimately, Fury closed the deal in the 11th round. KO in him. And yeah, it's a poetic finish. What a crazy career too. If anybody deserves it, it would definitely be Tyson Fury. After putting on all that weight, going through a bunch of mental distress. I think it was like 370, maybe almost 400, pretty close. Then comes back after Deontay Wilder is talking all that shit. And, um, yeah, kind of serves it to him. Like the first one, like I say, it was a draw, but this ain't about the first one, it's about the third one. Dominated in the second and the third one. But yeah, early in the fight, about round four, round three and four, it did look like Wilder might actually win. I would consider that an upset. It's like looking on from a casual point of view. Because like I said, I'm not a hardcore. But this is just my take. But yeah. I'm sure most of the hardcore boxing fans would agree as well. Because most of everybody likes Fury. Only a few don't. I also like Wilder as well. There's nothing to dislike about the man. But. You know, that trash talk was a little corny, especially since he said, uh, he said Tyson Fury had no power. He definitely showed him how that power worked out on his end. But yeah. What a crazy fight. Didn't really pay attention to the other fights. This was the main event, like the breadwinner of the event. Wonder what's next, like in the background. Anthony Joshua. And Fur Furry. <laughs> I meant to say Fury was supposed to fight, but I never materialized. I don't know if he lost or not or what happened, because like I said, I don't follow the sport that closely. But yeah, I don't know if that bite ever happened or not. But yeah. He's definitely at the top. There's no debate in, in the heavyweight division. Bringing in all the numbers and new fans as well. But yeah, it's just crazy by it. And the way he can like hug him and wear him down with the jabs and a couple hooks and power punches in between. I thought Wilder did pretty good for his style though. Because you got to remember he's a power puncher. Not a pure boxer. A lot of people wasn't going for him to win this fight though in the beginning which shocked me. I don't know if it's because they didn't like that Tyson Fury put on that extra weight and they said he didn't look as motivated as before. 
which would be true because the first fight he came off a draw so you would have the point to look around and think he wouldn't be as motivated but I think that did him a wrong justice by thinking that because he looked just as motivated in this one plus he's seen stars in this one as well this might be one of his toughest contests I have to go back and watch his other fights to make sure but yeah, I think this might have been one of his toughest fights. Pretty dang good comeback as well. But yeah, man, this is my take on the whole event. That's about it for me. I'll catch you on the next video.